Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and Apple has officially released iOS 5.1.1. Now this is a very minor update. All it does is fixes a few things, and it's a little patch. Now for those of you that have already updated, this video will show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd Gen, and the original iPad on firmware 5.1.1. Now this jailbreak will unfortunately be a tether jailbreak for the time being. If you have an iPhone 4, an iPod Touch 4th Gen, or the original iPad, iPad, you will be able to reboot your device without the help of a computer. It's just Cydia or any application that you might download from Cydia will not work until you tether boot your device. For every other device, you will have to use a program on your computer, Red Snow, in order to tether boot your device or else it will be stuck on the Apple logo. You will need to download one thing to your desktop and that's Red Snow 0.9.10 Beta 8. As Red Snow is updated, I will of course update the links down below in the description and yes, you'll find everything there as well as a written guide. And and let's go ahead and begin. So make sure your device is plugged in and you wanna right click on Red Snow if you're on Windows, run as administrator, click yes. And now we're just gonna select jailbreak. Make sure our device is plugged in. Go ahead and hold the power button and slide to power off. There you go. Now we're gonna click next. And as soon as we do this, we will be putting our device into DFU mode. So we're gonna click next and hold power for three, two, one, together with the home button for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. Once you get this option menu, all you're gonna do is select next and give it about 10 to 15 minutes and the jailbreak will be done. Now for most of you, your device should power on by itself. For some of you, it may be stuck on the Apple logo and that's okay. You most likely do have an older generation device. Now if you scoot over, you will see Cydia is blanked out. If you click on it, it will not work. So what we need to do now is go ahead and go back into Red Snow. I'm gonna click back gonna select just boot tethered right now and then we're gonna go ahead and put our device into DFU mode and once again we're gonna power it off and then we're gonna go ahead and select next hold the power for three two one together with the home button for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Once Red Snow recognizes your device once again, let go of the home button and your device will boot up in just a second. And just letting you guys know this process that I just showed you, you will have to repeat it every single time your battery dies or you need to reboot your iPhone. Because this is a tether jailbreak, none of your apps will work or you will be stuck on the Apple logo. So you will have to do this every single time your battery dies. Now, once your iPhone restarts, go ahead and slide to unlock. Head over to Cydia. It may still be blank. After a few restarts, it will eventually go back to normal. But you guys are now jailbroken. And of course, set up Cydia. Let me do that real quick. And once you get Cydia all set up, you are now fully jailbroken on iOS 5.1.1. Now remember, this is a tether jailbreak. So you will need a computer nearby if you plan on turning your device off or your battery dies. And keep that in mind, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Of course, like and favor this video if it helped. If you liked it, also comment. I will try to reply to any questions you guys have and of course subscribe for more great videos enjoy the jailbreak guys peace